Dan Crenshaw kind of called out, do you want to say that? Called out uh, Tucker Carlson about his hypocrisy in regard to the Afghanistan withdrawal. So I have a moment from a podcast to show you, but it's a fascinating dynamic because what Dan Crenshaw is saying about what he believes is contradictory to what I believe. So I disagree with him. But then what he's saying about the hypocrisy of Tucker Carlson is correct. And it's very interesting. So you'll see here, he's kind of breaking down the isolationist versus non-isolationist divide within our country, which if you don't know, isolationists at its purest is um, the United States and its military shouldn't be getting involved in world affairs at all. We shouldn't be going in other countries and doing things. And of course, a non-isolationist view is more willing to deploy the military to do things, have bases across the world and stuff like that. <clears throat> if you ask me my own opinion, I have to go on a case-by-case -case basis because um, I think we can all, not all, I think a lot of people can recognize, oh wait, I'm not fully isolationist because an example is World War II. Do you think we should have gotten the United States military involved um, in a war in World War II? Um, and obviously my, my answer would be yes. And a lot of people too think we should have gotten involved earlier, even before Japan kind of got offensive with us. Um, and so that's a line for a lot of people. Okay. If it's that bad, then yes. Where does the line get drawn before that? And to me, it's taken at a case by case basis, but also we have to be much more strict with following international laws, with respecting other country sovereignty, with um, you know, respecting human rights. And that's where we faltered so bad. So us being involved across the world, for example, we're giving a lot of military resources to Ukraine. I love it. We're also not violating, um, you know, international law. And in other cases, we have violated international law. And that's why um, I was against things like the war in Iraq and, and stuff like that. And was proud of Biden for pulling us out of Afghanistan. So we'll watch this. Um, Dan Crenshaw is different than me where he is much more willing to be involved and he thinks we shouldn't have pulled out of Afghanistan. So we'll talk about that as the clip goes on, but here is this moment of him eventually calling out Tucker Carlson, Tucker Carlson's hypocrisy because Tucker Carlson pretends to be somewhat isolationist and get, you know, the military out of everywhere, but then criticized Biden a bunch for pulling out of Afghanistan. To expand on your, on your point earlier about how we never wanted to go back to this, right? Post-World War II, we never wanted to go back to the situation where we we had to expend a massive amount of resources, um, and taking island after island after island again and, and letting it happen. There's an, there's an interest in preventing it at the beginning when the costs are lower. Um, and, and I also, I just always refute this argument that we're starting a war. Again, the isolationists were wrong about Russia. They've been wrong. They were wrong about Afghanistan. They said that if we just left, then there would be peace. Well, that's not what happened. We lost. So I don't know who he's referring to, but as far as my, stance i never believed pulling out of afghanistan was going to make peace in afghanistan um it more has to do with what is our obligation as another country as the united states of america in um affairs within other countries and sometimes they are you know things that we should be involved in uh based on the needs of the country and their willingness to have us there and all those types of things an example is ukraine wants us to be supportive to them obviously. Um, but I do think when you're talking about generally, for example, the Taliban revoking so many of women's rights right now and just making it so much more oppressive in Afghanistan than it was for the last few years, um, that is horrible. And I, I hope so much for that to go in the other direction at some point. But is it the United States' obligation to military militarily occupy countries um, whenever they have those types of issues going on whenever people are being treated poorly and if so why aren't we doing that in all of the countries that have those bad views on women for example um and that's where you get to okay out of principle it's not the united states obligation to go military militarily occupy countries whenever they have bad um what we would consider to be but obviously bad views or bad um laws or treatment of people within their society um, and that's where international law matters because then whenever there's a huge violation of human rights, there can be a global effort to prevent that. Um, but if we just willy nilly do it on our own, you get into really uh, sticky territory. Lost 13 Marines. It, it, nothing made me angrier than watching Tucker Carlson 
have the nerve to even criticize Joe Biden because Joe Biden did exactly what Tucker Carlson wanted him to do. Exactly. To the T. Hold out everybody right now. You know, no ifs, ands, or buts. No middle ground whatsoever. Not even Trump was, I, I think, thinking of doing that. You know, it would have at least left people in Brock Bagram. Um, they've been wrong on every front, and it's 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 getting dangerous. So he's absolutely correct about Tucker Carlson's hypocrisy because Tucker Carlson, for a long time, said, "I'm against the endless wars, and um, we should pull out of Afghanistan, and that's one of the reasons that Trump was good in a lot of these people's eyes." And then Biden does that, and it's a horrible thing. Now, of course, they say it's because the way that Biden did it. But I do think you have to recognize when pulling out of a 20 year war, leaving a massive power vacuum, um, it was going to be bad. It was going to be, um, damaging and we were going to see a scene like we saw now. Particular instances, like he talked about the Marines, you hope for a situation where we could have prevented that. And I'm sure you could conceive of one, but at a more 30,000 foot view, there was going to be a very messy withdrawal um, from a country that we had been so long and we had worked so much on our end to uphold the government that they had. So the second that we left, there was going to be a massive um, kind of brawl for, for that power and cause a lot of the scenes that we saw. And so I think recognizing it's a net good that we ended the war um, and that we pulled out of Afghanistan is important. And a lot of the people on the right don't do that. And all they talk about is the way in which it happened, the way it wasn't uh, perfect or peaceful or any of those things. So interesting moment where I disagree with Dan Crenshaw on if we should have pulled out of Afghanistan, but I agree with his take on Tucker Carlson's hypocrisy.